Hey, Patty, how are you? Okay, let's try this. Um, let's go over first your setup. Now, remember, this is a driver. As the clubs get longer, it's very important that you widen up to get your spine more behind the golf ball. Just like when you're chipping, it's very important to get your spine in front of the golf ball. So you need to widen up a little bit right here. Also, we worked on your left-handed grip. Remember, you need that V going more towards your right side of your face so you can see two and a half knuckles. You've got that V going more straight up towards your left ear. So really get that. Make sure the heel pad's on top and you get that left hand over. That's going to help you release the club and keep those elbows together, okay? Remember, also, you want that left arm to be up and over that left breast. Don't get it trapped on the side because that causes you to pull. So, as we go back here, remember, don't sway, turn. Okay, I like how you keep the weight on the inside. Remember, do some stretching drills. It's going to help you. We want to try to keep those hips from over-rotating. We want to turn the upper body around the lower body. So, just like we did that little drill in the classroom where you turned your shoulders around your hips as you were sitting down, you feel that tension in your back. So, we don't want to turn the hips as much as the shoulders. Remember, very important, keep the weight on the inside of that right foot. So, when if you get a little bit wider with that right foot, it's going to be a little easier to keep the weight on the inside. Remember, that is your power pose. So as you go back, good turn there. Weight shifted to the right. As you come through, very nice. Now, remember, we're trying to really let the weight get all the way over to the left side. And then we want to use those hips to help us turn so the forearms rotate. You're going to see at impact you're a little flat footed and then your arms pull apart and you can see that the right hand is still under where it should be over and that blade is open. So the more you can practice learning to rotate and whip that club and not hit the ball, the more power you're going to have and you are going to get a release. Remember those elbows should stay together. They shouldn't pull apart like that. The more you use that lower body and get the weight transferring to the left and turning those hips the longer those arms are going to be and the more the rotation is going to happen also when you get two knuckles two and a half knuckles shown in the left hand that's going to help your rotation too so you can see how short your arms are there if we're relaxed the arms are going to go long and extend way out here Okay, remember, you did get your weight to the left, and you get it all the way to the left. It just happens late. So do those weight transfer drills that we worked on. That's going to help you tremendously. So remember, from the top of the swing, we want a slight slide, but then I want a big turn. Let the club whip. Slight slide, big turn. You just... You go about 50-50. You never really get all the way to the left, but then you just don't turn the hips. It's just a pull of the arms, okay? The lower body's not helping you through impact. You're just pulling the arms through. So work on that setup stuff. I'm going to send you another video of you, too. You can see how the arms pull to the left because they're pulling. So remember... Turn the club over, really work on swinging and whipping the club using that lower body. All right, Pat, I'm going to send this to you.